What's happening my Jack family? Coach Scott here, jackedafter40.com. Your goal when getting shredded after 40 should be to lose fat as fast as possible while maintaining your muscle mass and setting yourself up for long-term success where you keep that fat off, getting lean and staying lean while building muscle and improving your physique over the long term. Based on the scientific evidence, when you're trying to get shredded after 40, the best approach is to have a rate of weight loss of 0.5 to 1% of your total body weight each and every week. So if you weigh 200 pounds, you be aiming to lose between one and two pounds per week. But there's other factors that come into play when you're trying to prevent muscle loss when you're getting shredded after 40. Number one is resistance training. But since you're watching this Jacked After 40 Life channel, I'm gonna assume that you are consistently working out and giving your best effort in the gym. Number two would be your protein intake, making sure you're getting an adequate amount of protein to preserve your muscle mass. Sleep is going to be another big factor, making sure that you're getting eight hours of sleep each and every night, at least eight hours. I'd say seven is a bare minimum, but eight is great. Nine is probably even better. And another key factor that can influence muscle loss when you're trying to get shredded after 40 is how long you are in a caloric deficit. Research shows that the longer you're in a caloric deficit, the greater chances of losing muscle mass, especially the leaner and leaner you get. A great example of this is the 2017 Matador study where they divided the participants into two groups. The first group consumed a 33% caloric deficit for 16 weeks straight. The second group consumed a 33% caloric deficit for two weeks and then two weeks at maintenance and they alternated back and forth for a total of 31 weeks. So there was a total of 16 weeks where they were in a 33% caloric deficit and then 15 weeks where they were at maintenance level calories. So this alternating back and forth between two weeks in a deficit two weeks at maintenance. And what the study found is that the group who alternated back and forth between a 33% caloric deficit and maintenance level calories ended up losing more fat, preserving more muscle mass, their metabolism was elevated, and they were able to keep the weight off for the long term much better than the group who dieted for 16 weeks consistently in a 33% caloric deficit. And the interesting thing for me at least is that 33% caloric deficit is right around where I typically aim for when I am trying to get shredded after 40. Uh, for me, my maintenance level calories are right around 2,800. When I'm in a caloric deficit, I'm usually between 1,800 and 2,000 calories per day. 33% caloric deficit puts me right around 1,900 calories. So that's pretty much spot on with what I typically aim for. And when I follow that approach, I typically lose about 1.4 pounds per week. And that would put me at uh, just under 1% of my total body weight um, average for the week. Uh, since I weigh about 150 pounds, um, 1.4 pounds per week is under the 1% of total body weight that I'd be losing per week. So that again is going to help me preserve, increase my chances of preventing muscle loss when I'm trying to get shredded after 40. I follow this approach for each of my four week mini cuts during the past few years and I've also followed the same approach during my 12 week transformation four years ago when I dropped about 20 pounds during that transformation. So I averaged about 1.4 pounds per week by sticking with that consistent caloric deficit, uh, consuming about 1800 to 2000 calories per day on average. Uh, during that time, that 12 week transformation, I did have one refeed day in there per week. So that that has been shown it can help preserve some muscle uh, during while you're trying to get shredded after 40 there but um, it doesn't compare to a the Matador study where you're doing two weeks on, two weeks off. That's a, that's a serious diet break, but it's important to note that that diet break was controlled. It wasn't like a free-for-all. It was a controlled maintenance level intake. Um, and again, the, the whole purpose of that was to keep your metabolism elevated. It's also going to be great for um, your mental toughness during this whole um, transformation process. It really, it, it, um, it takes kind of the mental fatigue from dieting out of the picture there. So not only are you gonna get the metabolic benefits from from it, but it makes it easier to kind of stick with the diet. Yeah, the diet's gonna drag on a little bit longer, 31 weeks compared to 16 weeks in this uh, this example here, but um, still it may not feel like you're dieting that long because you're getting all these diet breaks throughout there. And it's also teaching you how to eat at maintenance level calories, which I think is a big reason why these people, the, the participants who, who followed the two weeks on, two weeks off, were able to keep the weight off for the long term because they had a good idea of what maintenance level intake is gonna look like for them. I definitely wish there was a way to do a comparison between that 12 week transformation I went through 
through where I was having a refeed day once per week and compare it to this approach with the Matador study where I would consume that 1800 to 2000 calories for two weeks straight and then two weeks at 2800 calories. Yeah, it would have dragged the transformation on longer, but it would be interesting to see if there really was a difference in uh, preserving muscle mass. So here they, they had the group where it was complete diet, 33% um, deficit for 16 weeks straight, but if they had one refeed day per week, would that group have done better? If they, if they alternated one week on, one week off, would that be any better? If they did, I see some people out there who are doing I think it's like a two week diet and then a nine day break. So this is one study, that study isn't gospel right now. There's there's so many different ways you can approach it, but the main thing is that you are inserting a diet break in there. You're eating at maintenance level calories to help your metabolism stay elevated and to help preserve your muscle mass while you're getting shredded after 40. So I've decided this January when I go through my planned four week mini cut to shed any fat that I may have gained during this past year of building muscle. I'm up seven pounds, so it will be interesting to see how much of that was fat, how much muscle I may have gained. Uh, I'm going to adopt this approach of consuming a 1900 calorie deficit for two weeks straight, followed by uh, two weeks of maintenance at 2800 calories, which will mean instead of a four week mini cut, it's gonna be six weeks with a two week diet break inserted in there. Um, so I'm just gonna be excited to see how this experience compares to the previous few years where I've just done four weeks of dieting straight, just get it done and over with. Um, see how it is on me mentally more than anything, if it makes the diet process any easier, or if I do think it was better, just get it done and over with and just get right back to building again. But I think it's gonna feel like a less of an interruption to my overall lifestyle. It's much easier to stick to a diet for just two weeks than it is for four weeks. Uh, and it will be kind of nice to have that little two weeks at maintenance, 2,800 calories, which is close to what I was consuming through a much of the year, 2,800 to 3,000 calories was my, my target for most of, uh, most of 2020. So really looking forward to experimenting with this approach to, to dieting and just seeing how my re body responds and seeing how my more, more so that how I respond mentally to, to this deficit, even though it's just a short mini cut, still, it's kind of nice if you can make that process even more enjoyable than it already is. It's kind of nice to know that I only have to diet for four weeks out of the year. The rest of the year can be in maintenance and a gentle surplus and just continuing to focus on building my, building my physique, building my strength, and just living my best life possible, enjoying my life to the fullest. So based on the scientific evidence, if you want to preserve your muscle mass while getting shredded after 40, it's best to go with the rate of weight loss of 0.5 to 1% of your total body weight per week. And it's best to insert some diet breaks throughout. How long those diet breaks are, we still need more research, more, more evidence to, to see if two weeks is optimal, if one week would be just fine, if an alternating back and forth is fine. But the key is to just insert some diet breaks throughout where you're eating at maintenance level calories. A diet break is not going to be to let loose because you can undo all the success uh, that you had in two weeks in that two week period. So maintenance is just, it's there to boost your metabolism, keep it elevated, and to give your mind a break from dieting as well as helping preserve your muscle mass. So I think it's a smart approach. I would love to hear from you down in the comment section below. Do you think it's a smart approach as well? Is this something that you may try to adopt in your um, approach to getting shredded after 40? I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please hit that thumbs up button. I'd really appreciate it. If you know a fellow bro who would benefit from watching today's video, do me a favor and share it with them. If you haven't subscribed to the channel already, do so now and smash that alert button so you're notified each time I upload a video. Before I go, don't forget to download your free guide, Jacked After 40. Have yourself an amazing day. Catch you in the next video.